thanks so much for joining me. Today we are talking about some YSL products that I picked up from their pop-up. I happened to be in town at the time and I drove by and saw that they were having this event. I think it was just for one weekend. So they had some items there that are not yet available online. I think they are available in Europe though, based on an article that I just read. But as far as I know, they are not available until May online or in stores. So if you know anything different, let me know. But that's what the associates told me. So on the side of the road basically was this structure. It looked like a gas station. They had some vintage cars there. They also had a shipping container that they had converted into their pop-up shop. And that's also where they set up for their campaign with Kaya Gerber and then some other influencers. So in the shipping container was where the products were. And the first thing was a water station. The next one was the concealer station. They had the traditional Chuchi Claw and then also the new version. And I purchased the new version already in five, which was too dark. So April helped me out and she color matched me to 4.5. If there's anyone who's gonna be able to test out whether a concealer really covers or not, it's me because of those dark areas. So I think that I'm a pretty good litmus test to see if something is actually high coverage or not. I also received a sample, they are probably giving this to everyone there, but it's the Instant Matte Pore Refiner and I use this with no powder. So I actually don't have any powder, which is probably why it looks glowy or maybe shiny to some people. But I just set with this, and this is really interesting, but it looks like you can put it under and over makeup, which to me is amazing because that means that I can put concealer on top of this. So let's say I concealed and I put this on top and decided I needed more concealer. I'm able to put this on top without destroying anything that I've already done. So I think that this is going to be one of those things that's gonna be a great tool to have um, in order to deal with all of my concealing. What can happen sometimes when I conceal is that if there are many layers and then I add powder, that's when it starts to look cakey. So if you are a person who does not like to powder, this might be really interesting for you to try. I just looked it up, it looks like it's new. It's available, but also new, so not many reviews on it. I just tried it today, so I'll have to let you know how it goes in terms of the wear, but so far I'm happy I have it. It's kind of the product I've been really looking for, something that sets without being a powder. And I've tried a couple already, if you've been here already, that haven't worked for me. So this might, this might work, so we'll see. So the next station was lipsticks and they had mostly nudes. I think there were like three rows of nudes. There was like an orange one and of course I went for the red one, which I have on right now. And then they did some engraving. So I'll insert a little clip here of what that looks like. I engraved both the lipstick and then also they did the concealer. So I said, why not? Let's do the concealer too. So they engraved those for me. And then there were some other things. I think I just got really excited about the eyeshadows because I said as they were engraving what do you have that's either exclusive to this or something new and they told me about these sequin crush eyeshadows I have three of them and that's what I did with my eyes today so I picked up as many as I could I think according to the article I read I don't know how many they're releasing in the United States but I think there were several other colors that were listed um, in the ones that were available in Europe so more to come on that um, but I'm glad I got to try at least three of them because I'm really happy with my look. It was so quick. I'm actually gonna do some cutaways as I talk about the items. Um, Mandy did this last time and I really liked it. Actually, I was considering doing it and I saw Mandy do it and I really liked it. Many of my friends on YouTube also do this cutaway kind of version, so let me know what you think. But let's go ahead and start with the concealers. I started out with 4.5 in the middle of my face. Um, it takes a lot to build this up. I think if I use this as a foundation, because I didn't apply any foundation today, but if I do only concealer, I don't think these concealers are gonna last very long because it took quite a bit. But I'd start with 4.5 in the middle and then went with five on the exterior. Now, I thought that five was too deep for me and if you watch me apply it on the exterior, it's not that far off from 4.5. Um, I'll include an insert to a 4.5 versus five. Going in and concealing, I noticed when I built up 4.5 in this this area it got a little bit light so I actually went in with five so I used both of those in tandem on these areas right here I did not color correct so there's a nice peachy hue to these I think you can see a little bit of darkness but you know unless I really go in and powder it's not gonna look perfect and that's okay um, but I think it's good enough that you can see it concealed pretty well and still looks like skin so that's important to me I'd rather have it look more skin like than perfect with too much cake so I'm okay with a little bit of that darkness showing through if it still looks like skin really pretty finish really glowy when I noticed April put it on me it looked like skin um, looked really glowy it still looks really glowy I do have a ring light but I have it kind of behind like a sheer curtain so it's diffused a little bit 
but you can see that there is definitely a glow. I think it helps that I didn't powder as well because I used this instead. I'll let you know again how long that keeps things in place. We'll see how much it moves. Um, I also used it under my eyes too, this, um, the instant pore refiner. I just used it as I would a powder and just powdered, like not powdered, but I put this in like this area right here under my eyes in here. So, so far no real creasing or anything, although I'm seeing a little transfer of something and I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a mascara or what, cause usually I don't have that problem. Then I went in with the eyeshadow. Started out with number four, which is this beautiful color. It's like a khaki, brownish greenish color with some glitter in there so it looks like to me like the night sky with stars in it so that's how visible the glitter is on that one really easy to blend though again i'm impressed with what they're coming out with now because things that typically were shimmery in the past from my experience were kind of gritty and dry but i'm not getting that with this either then i went with this very beautiful uh, number one i started with that on the inner corner and went to around the middle of my eye then I went in with the purpley color. I just wanted to try it. So I ran it underneath my lash line on the bottom. Then I took a purple liner from Marc Jacobs in Grapevine and put that in the waterline. I went in and of course did a wing liner uh, with the Tom Ford liner. I also tight lined with the It Cosmetics black eyeliner I've been using. Um, and then I went in with mascara. I forgot that they gave me a sample of the shock. So I went and actually added that on top and I'm wondering if that is what maybe is transferring, but it's a very thick mascara. Yeah, it's very thick and the bristles on this are pretty heavy duty. So um, it deposits a lot pretty quickly. So again, I don't have as much experience with this. I kind of added it at the end because I remembered at the end that I had it. So I have a couple mascaras already and then that on top. I gotta kind of watch and see if it's gonna transfer or not though. And then I went in with number four again. I just took that Shuomura brush, placed it right in the corner and dragged it. So I softened that wing a little bit and then intensified the ends right here. After that, I went with the lipstick number one. And it, it's interesting, looking at it as the lipstick, it doesn't look like it has pink in it, but when I put it on, there was a lot of pink coming through. Um, and I don't know if you can see it here, but um, again, really beautiful. So it was a little bit more sheer than I thought it would be. And I used a lip brush to put it on, which I think helps when it's a bolder color because you have more control that way. So um, plus I didn't want to mess up the YSL on this side. So I just took it from the back here. So if you don't want to ruin your lipstick or like me, I still have to take a photo of this. Uh, take it from the back at first with a brush and then you can leave this part looking nice for as as long as you can um and then that was it and then i like i said i just went in with this instant matte pore refiner as i would a powder and that's how we got here so i really like the skin like quality of this concealer it is high coverage although it does take work so it is not a one and done kind of thing I had to go in with my beauty blender several times to get it to lay flat against my skin and also to layer it in a nice skin-like kind of way because if you just go in and put a big chunky layer on you're gonna see it so just it's a slow build up so if you have any melasma hyperpigmentation it just it's gonna take work I still haven't found that item that's gonna do like a just swipe it on and it's covered we're still not there but this one is very skin like in its coverage and I think that it helps that I went in with this instant matte pore refiner after and actually in between so it's kind of sandwiched in between because as i started to add it it does remove it just a little bit so you've got to go in and put a little bit more on so it's like two steps forward one step back but you'll get there i mean i think i could even do it a little bit more to get a very very like even kind of skin tone but this i mean that's that's pretty good um, I didn't want to spend too much time on it, but I did want to see how much I could build it up. So it is very buildable in terms of the concealer. I think it's a really, really good one. Um, it does have high coverage. It's not going to erase really quickly though. It does take a little bit of work, but it does have a very skin-like quality about it that is a really good way to color correct because it does have so much peach in it, both 4.5 and 5 no color correcting. As for the sequin crush, 
I loved playing with these. I think they're fun. I think that this is different than anything I have because I don't know if I have anything that has individual glitter in there like this, but that's a nice smoky eye. I think I would just actually go in with this one color. Um, yeah, I think I would just go in with this one color and do a black eyeliner. I think that would be really pretty just for a smoky eye. I think that this one's really fun, the goldish one to add as an accent. And this purple one is pretty, and I'd like to do a look just featuring this more because I just did it as an accent because I thought it would be too much if I put it in other places this time, but I wanted to show it to you and at least give you a nice little swatch of it because it's not glittery like the other ones. It's more of a shimmer. So really pretty too, glad I have all of those. The lipstick, very pretty. I mean, you know I have my very favorite red right now. So, um, but this one's very nice. It has, like I said, it's got um, like a sheen to it. It reminds me of candy, if that makes sense. It's got like, you know, the iridescence of like a hard candy. It kind of has that on it. So that's it for my YSL early access on the eyeshadows. Want to give you a little information about these if you were interested. They're very fun. Um, and then show you the other things that I got and then give you a little preview of the Instant Matte Pore Refiner. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know if you like that format. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Um, but as far as I can tell, it deposited a lot of um, fabric, fabric.